Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It would be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So let's get it popping. Let's get it cracking, like, and let's talk about Basketball Wife Season 8. is going down. The situation with Christian and CC and OG has just basically catapulted online and it's going down. I was just like, OMG, like they are really getting at OG. OG is out here with no friends. Nobody really defending OG is like crazy. You got Evelyn Lozada. Every chance she gets, she's dissing OG. And then at the same time, she's promoting her skincare line. It's just like, damn, OG is taking the heat. She's taking the smoke. I mean, they are dissing her. Christian's dissing her. And also, Shawnee's dissing her. And Evelyn, I'm, I mean, like, they are going in. Jackie ain't said nothing. Jackie done kept her mouth closed, but it is what it is. I was like, yo, they are really dissing OG out here. I mean, on Twitter, on IG. They're just making fun of her looks. They're making fun of her hair. They're making fun of her wigs. They're just saying that, you know, she can't dress. She looks terrible. She's awful. She's a bad person. Like, they're really getting at OG. They are mad at OG. Like, it ain't nobody's business because OG has, you know, basically told the family secrets. But basically, only reason and only way that OG was able to get the family business, the family secret, the Scott secret... It's from Cece. And the only way Cece got the family business and the secrets is from her fiance, Byron. Scott. And Byron Scott said it was okay for CC to say whatever she needed to say against Thomas and against Christian to defend herself in the situation. So basically, CC done talked to OG, told OG all the information, the Scott family secrets, and, you know, OG was like, yo, this is my time to shine. This is my time to get my get back. And it is what it is. Because OG and Christian was beefing. And yes, Christian came at OG, but she didn't come from the for her juggler. But OG came for Christian's juggler. And she came for it. Like, basically, she said, you on your high mighty horse. You're not really a Scott. So, basically, she exposed the secret. And it is what it is. And now, she's getting a backlash. Everyone's saying that CC. And OG needs to be fired, but they really want OG fired. It's like everybody's taking the heat towards OG because OG is the one that actually, you know, said something about the Scott family secret between, you know, Christian and Thomas. So it is what it is. But I was like, damn, OG's taking a smoke. She's taking a heat. But you know what would be crazy? If Cece turns her back on OG, if she blames OG, she acts like she had nothing to do with it. Or if Cece acts like, oh, OG only acted on her accord and basically I she told me that she wasn't going to say anything and she promised me that she wasn't going to say anything that would be crazy if CC comes back and she disses OG but basically OG was not accepted by the girls anyway Shawnee did not like OG Malaysia never liked OG she looked at you know OG like oh my god disgusting you play football and then on top of that you know Evelyn never liked OG nor did Jennifer never like OG they did not like OG at all OG only friend that she was you know had was cc and then jackie will come in every now and then blase in a third and then tammy was chilling with og or whatever and she has been chilling with og on the show but other than that the in crowd does not want og around and basically evelyn's all of all on Twitter talking about the end circle and basically OG is not part of that end circle. So I don't believe OG felt like she did anything wrong. I don't think OG felt like she hurt anybody because basically she's been hurt by these ladies and basically Christian Sky has hurt her and basically she had a team behind her. She had, you know, Shawnee supporting her. She had Jennifer supporting her and she had Evelyn supporting her and basically OG didn't have anybody in the end circle supporting her too as well and nobody really wanted to chill with OG and they made fun of OG basically you know FaceTime her boyfriend and everything like that like OG didn't fit into the to the end crowd but Tammy took OG under her wing and they were cool but you know Tammy is not down with OG you know exposing Kristen Scott's family secret but it happens because you already know that Evelyn and Tammy you know go back and forth and they expose secrets you sleeping with my husband you got diabetes oh you lied about being abused by you know um 
your husband <laughs> i was just like so you know it, it's just so much like they expose each other you know evelyn was like you know tammy knew she couldn't get pregnant for years because she's sick she got a sickness when she gonna tell people and basically saying that she got them you no know, skinny old legs and then you have tammy going back to you know evelyn and saying that basically you know you just jump around you get around what you know all the industries like you just hop hop here and hop there and you know it is what it is with that situation. But, so, it's just like, damn. I mean, they are roasting OG. They're roasting her wigs. They're just roasting her like it ain't nobody's business. I just hope Cece don't turn her back on her. Because the only person that really had Cece back was OG. Even though Malaysia wanted to play neutral and try to get OG and Christian together. But we already know um, Malaysia is, t is for, you know, Christian. She likes Christian more. She's closer to Christian. And basically... But she wants to have a united front on the show, and she wants Kristen and O. She wants Kristen and CC to actually be close and be tight and be, you know, a family, or whatever. But it's not happening because you already had Kristen say that me, her, and you know, CC are just surface friends, and Kristen was chilling with the enemy because basically you had Jennifer and you had Evelyn going around saying CC is five dollar, five dollar, and basically she was doing something, you know, at her massage parlor that you know she was giving happy endings. And they said it was just a joke, but Christian didn't feel like it was a joke when she first heard it. But then she turned around and said it was just a joke. And then Cece was trying to defend herself, but she had, you know, the, the, the in crowd coming at her. And then she thought that, you know, Christian was going to jump in and help her. Christian was like, no, you fight your own battles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So it went down like that. And it seemed like, you know, Christian was able to get into the the winning circle, the in circle, you know, to her ability was the in circle and basically keep a paycheck and keep a job. Cause now we know that Christian, you know, is going through some things like she's not, you know, as wealthy as she wants to be. Well, we're all not wealthy as we want to be. We all want to be more wealthy than we are. But you know, now we got Christian over here borrowing CC clothes and shoes and stockings, you know, all types of undergarments and clothes, earrings, necklace, rings, you know, gir girders and all types and stuff and basically then you're gonna turn around and not defend her and not have her back when you guys were cool because before you know Kristen Scott and CC got on to basketball wife they had a good relationship and nothing was going on they even talked how they chill and everything was cool all of a sudden they get on basketball wife and their relationship is gone it's not because of OG OG never tried to be in a winning circle she was just trying to be cool with everybody and tell people who she was and where she was from and basically she's dating you know and hopefully to get engaged to Byron Scott and Kristen basically Basically, she got into the the winning circle because she fits in. You know, she gets along with Sean and she gets along with Evelyn. She got along with Jennifer. You know, she had that look, you know, but we know her look came from Cece's closet, baby. So it is what it is. And then Cece's like, yo, we family, you know, you know what I'm saying? We close, we tight. And now we get on the show, you act like you don't know me. You tell me to defend myself, Blase and the third. But right now, everybody's defending Kristen Scott, which is, you know, Evelyn and, you know, um, Malaysia and also um, Shawnee O'Neal, they defending her, you know what I'm saying, OG never had nobody to defend her and have her back, you even had Evelyn called OG like the do girl at the nail salon, basically cracking on her nationality saying five dollars, five dollars you can get, you know, a happy ending with a massage or whatever, so you have that situation, I mean they are dissing the hell out of OG. OG right now don't have a friend in sight. I don't know if Jackie's still going to be cool with OG because right now Jackie is, is in the end circle and we know Tammy wants to leave Basketball Wives too as well. So I don't know if she's going to still be cool with OG. She's probably going to, Tammy's probably going to tell OG you shouldn't have did that. That was wrong. But you know, war is war. It is what it is. So I was just like, damn, it is going down, baby. Oh no. I was like, yo, it's really happening. It's really happening. It's really going down. I mean, they are dissing OG like it ain't nobody's business. And yes, OG did tell a family secret. She told it on national TV and she did it to hurt and she did it to shock people too as well. And that's what she did. And that's what she wanted to do because she felt like these ladies wasn't her friends and she felt like they were going to continue to come at her. So basically she had some information and she decided to use it. And now let's see if that information is going to actually get her catapulted or kicked off the show because it seems like everybody is asking for OG to be released from Basketball Wives. Everyone's asking 
um, Shawnee O'Neal to tell OG that her services are no longer needed. I was just like, OMG, it's going down. So what do you guys think about the situation? You know, sometimes you can come at people's neck and then they come back at your neck, but they might come for your neck and your torso <laughs> and your head, you know, and that's what OG ended up doing. OG felt like, you know, she had nothing to lose and she felt like she was beefing with Kristen and Kristen had to one up, but then OG got even more, more information about, you know, Kristen. And she used it. And people think that it's very wrong for her to use it because she's coming into people's family lives. But the family was already affected because Byron Scott was saying that he don't want nothing to do with Christian. He don't want Christian at his wedding. He don't like her. He can't stand her. And also Byron Scott was like, you know, um, CC and his son don't pay for dinners or anything like that. Like they take advantage. And basically he didn't want to be bothered. And he didn't appreciate, you know, CC. You know, I mean, Christian actually saying that he's a bad grandparent when he raised Thomas. That's not really, that's not his biological son, but he raised him and took him in like he was his own son. So, and then for him, then for, you know, Christian to get on TV and say he's not a good grandparent, he was like, he was in, he was up, he was ready. And that's why he gave CC and OG the permission to use the family secret or whatever because he was like, war, it's war. And that's what it was. And he was giving his fiance ammunition to use against Christian because he felt like his uh, fiance, which is Cece, was outnumbered and she didn't have no friends on the show and she needed to defend herself. And huh, here's the secret. Let me tell you this. Because the secret only came from Byron. You know what I mean? It came from Byron. It's just not like, you know, Christian told OG. I mean, it's not like Christian told Cece on top of that, but it is what it is. I was like, they are dogging OG out online. Peace them out. One left to all my peeps and my people. Just guys tell me what you think about the situation. I'm just like, whoa, it is going down. So what do you guys think about this situation? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is OG going to have any friends to film with? Is Cece going to turn her back on OG? And is Jackie going to turn her back on OG? And is, you know, Tammy going to turn her back on OG? I don't think Tammy is, but Tammy is very cool with Malaysia. And they have a real tight-knit relationship. So we'll see how this plays out. Peace, I'm out. One love to all my peeps and my peoples.